this is the question they are given okay mm -hmm. here they are asked in the figure the system at the cable with equilibrium conditions so if this cable is in under equilibrium condition here one thread it has been attached so the same thread a load is uh, of 3 kilo newton 300 newton is um, is dropped at the point b the same point it has been attached to the another fixed end at d okay so this uh, what this load is been it has been attached to the support at a and as well as d and there is another load of 50 kilo 50 newton so this load is been at a fixed to the uh, point b and it is a uh, it is too tight to b and it is also fixed to the point e okay so this it may uh, the angle which is from here to here which it is been made it's not been given but from here to here which it is been attached so that is given as 30 degree okay mm -hmm. so from here horizontally the whatever the angle it is been made it is given 60 so here uh, here 45 degree it is given here 30 degree is given and here 60 degree is given okay so this is the given condition so now what you have to determine is so you have to determine the different segment force developed in the different segments so here force it has been given but this segment bd segment and ba segment and bc segment and ce segment force you have to determine so in order to determine use the lamis theorem okay so before using the lamis theorem you should know that in a given in a given three conditions so first uh, uh, you draw in a given uh, given condition you have to draw the free body diagram okay so in this uh, free body diagram so i will represent this figure as like this okay see here how the load see here the first part here okay whatever the line is there so it is been holding in here okay the load is been acted here the load is pulling here this side so that's why it is been moving this side so i have written as tab okay same like that this whatever this force is there it has been dragging here but this thread it has been pulling in this this direction okay so in it is go moving in the d direction okay mm. so here it is moving in this direction okay so that's why i am showing here as tbd okay so here also here this load is been tied to this one okay so load is acting here so again if you take here the load it has been pulling here okay here it will be pulling okay got it so you cut the section here okay you just you have to assume you have been cutting the section but if you if you cut here this threaded will be you see only this part okay you see only this part if you see here so whatever the this thread is there it is pulling the in the downward direction okay so that's why i am written here here uh, t b c is there no this is b end this is c end so that's why it is called as force b c okay so t b c it is it has been pulling in downward direction okay so that's why i'm showing arrow like this okay hmm. next uh, uh, you take uh, this uh, c segment okay hmm. here the force is been pulling here okay so it, it even though if you cut the section here it looks like one force is acting here but this force whatever it has been acting here it has been holded in the this thread and this thread okay when you seeing here it looks like that okay but when you see here it looks in a different way okay here when the force is acting like this this force will be uh, hold it hold it by the this force and this force okay so that's what i am shown here okay see here you can see here very clearly see here whatever this force is there okay this force so that is this one okay tbc it has been holding here okay so another force this force here here to here it is uh, dragging okay this force is falling in a downward direction due to, uh, due to uh, action of gravity okay mm -hmm. so action of gravity due to that it has been uh, 
see here here it has been acting in a downward direction but this force will be holded by this uh, force and uh, this uh, length okay mm? and uh, this thread okay this uh, thread length it has been holded here it has been fixed and this another it is fixed here okay so you have been cut it so it is it looks like it is act force it is acting like this okay so that's what i'm shown here okay the forces whatever it is there here it has been acting like this okay so here also the tce this one c e so it is acting here okay the another 5 kilo newton force 5 newton 500 500 newton it is acting in a downward direction okay so just uh, in middle what you have to do is you have to cut the section so in order to show that one 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 section here the force is acting here another force is acting here so here there is a two uh, sections are there you got two sections now after uh, after getting this uh, what is this uh, force uh, after writing a free body diagram what you have to do is uh, then you search to take either la to apply the Lamy's theorem either to apply the Lamy's theorem from here or to apply from here okay so always try to know that so see here there is a one known force 300 newton is been known here but this force is an unknown this force is an unknown this force is unknown so here how many how many only known is this one but you don't know this one you don't know this one and you don't know this one okay so what you have to do is see here you don't know this one one two three three unknowns are there only known is this one but here known is one but another unknown thing and another unknown thing okay mm -hmm. so there is only only known thing is only one so there should be one known and another two unknown only that part you have to select okay so here two unknown is this one and this one here it has been known force so first you have to select this one okay you select uh, this part and try to solve and find out the each this tbc force and tce force okay now what i will do is uh, see uh, one one small thing i want to tell you see here uh, if there is a if there is a uh, what is that if there is a uh, rectangle section means okay see here if there is a uh, rectangle section means see here this is a rectangle section this is the rectangular section okay for this rectangle section if you write a diagonal so whatever this angle so see i will take it separately this line this line and this one okay z in the in the shape of like this no okay in the shape of the z i will take it and write it separately okay see here consider this is 45 degree means this should be also 45 degree correct so in uh, in high school what we studied is so whatever angle which you make this angle okay so consider this alpha angle the same the same angle here also it will be alpha okay so here it is a beta means okay the same angle whatever angle it has been made here that will be equivalent here okay beta angle will be equivalent here okay so this this side will be equivalent to this side and this side will be equivalent to this side okay so in order to say correctly means see here like this this angle whatever alpha angle is there that will be equivalent to this angle okay so you have to know for you have to remember this when we are solving the problem okay the same um, theorem i will use the for the solving the problem okay see here see there is a two unknown force is there okay see here two unknown force is there 
but uh, this angle you know okay what i will do is simply see whatever it is here okay so what i will draw is i will draw like this okay just i will uh, whatever here it is there i'll just uh, draw a dotted line okay so dotted line i will just extend this okay simply for a sake of solving problem so here also will extend it okay and i will bring like this okay sorry here i will bring here okay see here so whatever angle is here 30 degree that should be angle equivalent to here 30 degree okay so here 30 degree it is not given in the question but uh, i have taken as it is okay just this line it is a single thread okay so it is utterly looks like a rectangle okay so it is utterly looks like a rectangle whatever angle it is here that should be equivalent to this side okay so as i told previously okay so z side means this is alpha this should also be alpha the same here it is in this direction that's all okay in this direction hmm. so this angle will be equal to this angle okay so that is why it is 30 so if this is the 90 degree angle means so this will be 30 means this will be obviously 60 degree okay this is 60 degree okay the same way here also this is 60 degree means this will be obviously 30 degree okay hmm. so rest of the things is very next rest of the things are very easy see here uh, then next uh, what you have to do is take each side okay see here 500 is there now so if you close this angle you will you will see 90 degree so here if you close it means you will see this whole angle okay you have to see see what you have to do is so take each individual from force to force so you take that one as a one single angle so you call it as alpha okay so this one of force to another force you call it this one as beta okay so you call from here to here uh, force from y this force to this force you call it as gamma okay so first one first one i will find out for the sine alpha uh, what you do is better uh, now i need to find out the force tbc and tce okay so this force is i i know that is 500 newton so for the tbc what will be the angle what you if you want to know the the force tbc means first you write the tbc okay next uh, uh, write down what you have to do is the next uh, after writing the force tbc you just close the the force tbc then what you will see you will see the see here what you will see you will see the alpha angle so you close that alpha angle so you write respective angle so respective angle is alpha sine of you have simply you should not write alpha you have to write it sine of alpha okay so whichever force you want to find it so cl close that force and write respective which angle you are able you are seeing that angle you write it okay the angle which you are seeing is alpha this one alpha you are seeing so you write it as sine of alpha okay next which one you have to find it another force is tca you just close the force tce so right first you write the force tce okay next what you have to do is you close the force tce so which angle you will see you will see the angle alpha so write you write it as angle sine of so sorry alpha is over beta is over this is gamma okay which one you are seeing this is see you are finding force tce you close that one the you are seeing is gamma okay so this is gamma okay alpha beta gamma okay so you want to find out tce force means just close it you will see the angle alpha uh, sorry gamma sine of gamma so you write it as sine of gamma okay one minute i'll rub the uh, rest of the things hmm. now you have determined tce tce is just close this and see the which angle is this so every time whichever force you have to find it just you close that and try in the respective 
uh, angle that's all you have to write sine of that angle that's all okay now tb tbc you know and tc you know ne next is only rest of the thing is phi and right okay this force you have to write it so just close that if you close that you will get you will see the sine of beta okay so consider you have removed this if you remove that you will not there will be no angle of alpha and no angle of gamma so that's why you just close it so nothing if you close this nothing will be seen only the angle beta will be seen okay so write it tce what is that 500 uh, newton force divided by sine of beta okay write it as sine of beta that's all okay so right after writing this so right what is alpha what is beta angle you find it okay see here alpha angle what is this alpha angle one by one you write it okay see here alpha angle alpha so what is this alpha angle see here uh, from here to here it is perfect 90 degree okay is it correct so this is perfect 90 degree so this is 90 degree this is 60 degree so from here from here to here it is how much 90 plus 60 90 plus 60 so that is equivalent to 150 okay so this is alpha angle next is beta beta angle is from here to here okay so 60 one first one is uh, 60 okay first one is 60 second year year it is 30 okay 60 plus 30 it will be 90 okay so beta angle is 90 degree directly i will write it if you want to write clearly means so write it as 60 plus 30 so that is equivalent to 90 degree you mentioned no problem if you want to write very clearly means okay now see here this next is the gamma angle okay gamma angle is from here to here okay so gamma is first one is 30 degree right 30 degree okay next is another angle is from here to here so this angle is perfectly 90 okay right 30 plus 90 so totally gamma is equal to 120 degree okay so now substitute the value of alpha beta gamma which been you have written here okay so write one by one so tbc is divided by sine of alpha is 150 sine of alpha is 150 degree so tce divided by sine of gamma is equal to sine of gamma is equal to 120 degree okay is equal to 500 divided by sine of sine beta is what sine beta is 90 degree okay now what you do is see here sine 500 divided by 90 sine 90 is nothing but 1 500 divided by 1 it will be 1 oh, sorry 500 okay so 500 divided by 1 it will become 1 so 500 so next uh, this both value is known next you have to find out uh, tbc tbc is unknown okay so sine of 150 this is 150 okay sine of 150 uh, and uh, 500 and sine 90 these are the the you will get the value okay so sine 90 it will become uh, uh, now 1 and uh, sine 90 is nothing but sine pi by 2 so sine 90 it will be 1 here sine 150 it will be sine of 180 minus 30 so 180 minus 30 you will get in the uh, in the second quadrant in second quadrant sine is positive sine 30 which will be 1 by 2 so this one this one and this one you three are unknown only unknown is tbc so what you do is you take this one and this one because all are equal so x is equal to y is equal to z so you can take this one and this one okay write these two write these two okay so I, I will write it as uh, TBC divided by divided by sine of 150 equivalent to uh, 500 divided by sine of 90 okay so you need to determine the only TBC so keep it that one as it is in a numerator this one whatever it is there you send it in this direction okay 
so tbc is equal to 500 into sin of 150 divided by sin 90 okay so whatever the answer you got it you calculate it and write it so tbc you will get it around 250 newton okay same way you have taken this one and this one now you take tce and this one okay so same way you take like this so tce divided by tce divided by sin 120 is equal to 500 divided by sin 90 so you need to determine tce so you keep it tce as it is so this one you send to right hand side so tce is equal to 500 divided by sin 90 into sin 120 okay sin 120 this is sin 120 sin 120 okay hmm? so finally tce will be the answer you will get it around 433.1 newton okay so this is tce okay so finally you got uh, tbc and tce so here mm, so whatever you have determined tce value you have determined uh, and tbc value you have determined whatever tbc you have been determined take that value to this figure okay this is first part first figure and second figure this you have solved now you take tbc whatever you have determined to here okay tbc tbc you have been found it as or as 250 so write it here as 250 see here how so taking this figure we have found out tbc the same value because this is one single thread the forces whatever here 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 whatever throughout the stretch the force will be same okay so tbc will be 250 now there is a only two unknown whatever the point you take you should take only two unknown force okay so now you take one by one okay so see here now the force you have to you have to write you have to apply the lamis theorem one by one you apply okay you come for tab okay if you come tab See here what you are uh, you have to resolve the forces you resolve this force okay one horizontal and one vertical okay so angle is here 45 degree so it will be angle will be here so this will be tbd sine 45 okay this is opposite so this will be tbd cos 45 okay got it the same way here also you resolve the forces one uh, same way one horizontal one vertical you draw it so theta is angle is here you mention it here so opposite here it will be sine okay so sine of so what tbc here it is 250 okay so 250 sine of whatever angle is here that is 30 okay so this will be 250 cos 30 okay so next uh, you take only the the or verti or vertical forces okay so vertical force if you take it so uh, this will be the one vertical force 
this will be the another vertical force and uh, this will be the another vertical force okay i will draw this okay okay this will be the one one vertical force another on uh, this one another vertical force okay mm -hmm. so another vertical force okay you take all these three so summation of vertical force is equal to zero upward positive okay so this one 300 it is moving in a downward direction minus 300 next one is uh, this one okay mm, tbc so it is also moving in the downward direction so it is 250 sine 30 next here it is moving in upward direction so that's why it is plus uh, tbd sine 45 is equal to zero okay so finally tbd you will if you solve this you will get tbd as 601 0.04 newton okay uh, you will get tbd this one okay next you take uh, summation of horizontal force is equal to zero moving towards the right is positive so uh, horizontal force is one is this one okay another is this one another is this one okay three forces so right tbd it is moving towards the left tbd is moving towards the left so that's why it is negative so you take this one so it is moving towards the right you take positive t b d okay so write it as t b d okay t b d cos 45 okay next another force is this one it is also moving towards the right hand side so that's why it is 250 cos 30 so is equal to zero okay you know t b d value that is t b d value you have to be determined okay hmm? So just insert the value of TBD. Okay, so TBD minus TAB. So you TAB you send to right hand side. So you will get it as TAB TBD value. I'm substituting as it is six not one point zero four cos forty five plus two fifty cos thirty. Okay, just you simplify. So TAB you will get it around 641.05 newton okay so this is what the tab now you earlier you have determined uh, tbc see here tbc you have been determined to uh, tab you have been determined tbd you have determined so unknown thing is these three no see here see here very carefully See TBD, TBD uh, B is B is here, and D is here. You, which this strand we have been determined. TAB is this one, that one we have determined. So uh, TBC is uh, this one we have been determined, and uh, this uh, CE. So CE also TCE also here. TCE also for the thirty three point zero one. So this one also we have been determined okay so this is how the, the equilibrium condition okay only thing is you have to remember two unknown one force okay one known force and two unknown so in only in that condition you have to go uh, you have to go for the solving the problem so here if you close this one see here if you close here in this part one unknown one sorry one known one two three three unknowns are there okay so that's why you can't go for the lamis theorem lamis theorem is applied for where there is a three forces okay force a force b and force c this alpha beta and gamma okay force a is equal force a is equal to so opposite one you remove this if you close this you will see this one so sign of alpha so next the b force b force is equal to sign of which one just you close it here so you will see gamma so write it as gamma so next for c is equal to for c you close it you will see by beta so sine beta so it is only applied in this condition only only where there should be one force known force and two unknown force only in that case you apply the lamis theorem in the rest of the things just you go for the 
resolving the force how i resolve the forces now same way you go and you will get the solution okay so don't forget this go and solve the problem once and twice you work it definitely rest of the things you can solve it okay